Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. This week's Dream Snaps Challenge in Disney Dreamlight Valley is all about rainbows. So I thought I'd take you along with me as I try to take the perfect submission photo. This week is an outfit challenge, but I think the background is really important too. So I started by pulling out some items that I thought would fit the theme that I could maybe use in the background. The figment topiary is perfect for this challenge if you're taking the photo outside. It's really colorful and pretty. I also really like this banner that I feel like came from a star path, but I can't remember. I also just laid out some furniture that I like a lot that I thought I might like to use. I tested out making some rainbows with lights, flowers, and gems as well, which I think look really cool. These are great items to use if you don't have a ton of star coins and you haven't collected a lot of the furniture yet. I wanted to use Mirabelle's house in my photo because it's really colorful and I just thought it looked so nice off in the distance. So I'm gonna start setting things up over near Mini Casita. I also like to test out different times of day to see what kind of lighting works best for the type of photo I'm trying to take. Sometimes a sunset or a nighttime picture can look really cool. I like to jump in and out of camera mode to see what things look like in the background and see if there's any space that looks off or that I need to fill out more. Here I am testing some different angles. I knew I wanted to use a companion of some kind, but the rainbow fox is the obvious choice here. Looking through the craftable items, I remembered that we have these different color chests we can make now, so you could totally use those as well in the background. And I've seen others making a rainbow out of outfits on their mannequins, which is such a great idea. Lots of different color lamps you can use. I decided to make some flower beds to add to my backdrop. All right, so once I was happy with the items in the background, it was time to start working on the outfit. I kind of just started throwing different pieces on my character to try to come up with an idea of what I wanted to do. I really like this t-shirt with the rainbow castle on the front. You could use one of the pride t-shirts if you like. We did get codes for those that I can put in the description box if they're still valid. I think that they are, and you can grab those for free. Otherwise, there aren't really a lot of rainbow options. This one is going to take some creativity for sure. I'm still sad that we can't use the Touch of Magic tool. They actually used a customized dress in the banner for this week's challenge, but we still can't use custom items. I really like these wings, even though they don't really do anything for the challenge. I just think they look really cool. I played around with some different accessories too. This holographic choker, I don't think I've ever used this before. I tried on a few different types of pants that I didn't know I had, but I landed on these white and purple ones that I think just go with the rest of the outfit better. I decided to change my hairstyle for this challenge as well. I really like the flowers in this one. Okay, so I went into camera mode and checked to see how I was doing with the Dream Snaps requirements. I had five out of three modern clothing items and five out of five strong items. I felt like I could do better than this, so I decided to look for some strong items that I could add. I do think the more you go over the required number of items, the better your score. I ended up adding some sunglasses, a jacket, and I changed out the rings she was wearing as well. This bumped me up to six modern items and nine strong ones. So I'm really happy with those numbers for sure. Finally, I started testing out some different poses and camera angles to try and find the best shot. I finally got to a point where I was ready to submit my photo and I got the dreaded message that I somehow have a Touch of Magic Tool custom item in my photo somewhere and I cannot submit it. The culprit was a custom rug I had made that was hanging out way back near my castle. The rug can't be seen in the photo, but because it's behind me, it's registering in the picture. So if you're getting that message, make sure you really zoom out and look way behind your character. All right, so after playing around with the camera, the pose, and the background, I finally got the shot that I'm really happy with. I don't think it'll be number one, but I am really pleased with it. 
I think it's really pretty and I do think I'll score really well with this one, uh, which should bump me up to the next pixel tier, which will get me an extra 2,000 moonstones. Let me know what you think of my submission for this week. Tell me your ideas and share any tips you have for getting a great Dream Snaps photo in the comments. And remember that the voting system is very flawed and even some really amazing photos aren't getting the opportunity to get lots of votes. Take your rank with a grain of salt and just have fun making cute photos in your valley. If you don't mind clicking that like button for me, I'd greatly appreciate it and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already for more Dreamlight Valley videos. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope you have an awesome weekend and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.